Good morning and welcome to another video with WK Robert Bruce. This morning I'm going to be interviewing Mad People 22. I'm excited about this interview. Lots of good questions for him from friends and from me and uh, ready to get this party started. All right, I am joined by Mad People 22, also Mad People 23 and all the alts. Good morning. Hello. Good to see you, man. Known yeah. You, known you quite a while on Giant Sim. Yep. But now we are venturing into other games. Indeed. Feels weird after playing like a simulator that I started on my main account, but I ended up quitting it because all the repetitive stuff and all the leaderboards are just full of scripters. Yeah, that gets really annoying. Yeah, basically. They're still but there, I, but they'll get rid of them soon. Yep. Yep. I was happy to end off. Uh, playing Saber, tying my alt and main account, they're still in the same position on the leaderboard, and I'm going to try remaining it that way, at least. Nice. Yep. That was actually one of my first questions here. What is uh, what is your status on Giant Sim? Are you uh, still playing? Are you taking a break? Um, I'm going to keep grinding it because it's what Mad People 23 is for. Okay. But I have another account called a Hatcher, but in reality, that's with my main account, and they both are grinding, uh, what is it, Mining Sim 2, and I can't confirm that I will be doing a new to pro with all secret pets and all that type of stuff without trading. Like, I don't trade in that game. All what I have in my inventory is literally from those two accounts with max game passes and all that. Nice. Yeah, I kind of like playing that way, too. That's how I play Tap in Legends X, is just keep my own stuff. I have gotten a couple trades lately, though, and I'm like, well... Oh, well, but yeah. <laughs> it is kind of fun to just do it yourself and just see what you get. I like challenging myself. Like, yeah. I like pushing beyond. So, for example, I haven't spent Soul Gems in, like, maybe a week and a half, and I almost have, like, 500 AA, and I'm going for AB. Nice. Yeah, it's fun to just set little goals. I mean, who cares about being the highest on the leaderboard at this point just because, like you said, there's a lot of scripters and stuff that keep trying to mess yeah, things up. Yeah, I was looking, I was just looking at the levels one and I just saw a few and I can't confirm, Devil says he's going to be quitting just because, like, a lot of stuff is messing up with his PC and the, his laptop's not really good, working, so I just, those are other reasons, plus he wants to focus on real life. Yeah. Yeah, but it's gonna. He said he's gonna be playing every now and then, like on his phone. But he isn't really gonna be wanting to talk about like his YouTube stuff. He'll like join like Discord calls. Like he'll still play. Like he plays Giant Sim every now and then. Like he'll tune in my private server that you're currently in. Yeah, and he'll like play because he. Oh, what is the word? I know people don't like hearing scripts, but he d does play legit when he's on his main. And he'll literally just sit here like AFK 24-7 with both of my accounts on this game. Yeah, and you said you do some uh, some anti-exploiter stuff and troll them? <laughs> I mean, I want to. It's really not hard. You see an or person, I literally take both accounts. And if they're weak, if I'm strong enough, I'm pretty sure my all strong enough because it has like 400,000 skills as a free-to-play. Yeah. From like, I did some macro, and I haven't really played on it much, but I just started up playing on it again. But, yeah, I'll take both of those counts, get some stuff gear on, and I'll, like, go max size, literally camp ores, and they'll really just put the swords down. Like, they can't really do much about that, because if they teleport into it, they'll just die. You just whatever. kill them over and over. Nice, that's a good idea. I like it. More people need to start doing that, guys. <laughs> take out these scripters and just get the game more active again. Yep. Devil and I were thinking about doing a new pro a uh, pay to play versus a scripter a free to play scripter but we were tempted to do it but we don't know if my main account will get banned but we don't really want to risk it too yeah if not minimum is i can just always tell shy showing her my files yeah which well, it won't really be hard to do because i because everyone knows i don't really script and all that yeah well, I was going to ask you, uh, I know you're a Saber Sim champion, and you stopped for a bit too. Do you feel a little bit bored and trapped because you made so many regular videos on it? Or, like, how, how do you feel about Saber Sim now? Honestly, it feels like I quit. It feels good, but I feel like I want to go back and just make, like, update videos only on it. Yeah, you know, and that's that's a good way to do it. I mean, as a YouTuber and stuff, I mean, 
just do the updates only and so you don't feel like you're always trapped. I like that idea. I think I might do it tonight if they have one, but the thing is, the updates are, like, repetitive. It's like, they're just, just, just the same thing. Plus, I've also been saying this, like, literally, like, the two top scripts that are going in Saber right now, I can confirm of are double script and keep more. Uh, yeah. I don't honestly I, know anything about scripts. I just know that the, about the giant sim ones and the people that teleport. It's um, the only ones I've seen. Yeah. But I don't know how those people are on the leaderboard in general because devil, those those can't be doubles. I do know that for sure. Devil was talking to me yesterday and I was just saying, didn't the infinite coin one get patched because people were saying that? And like so many people were going on the leaderboard. He says it's not his his uh, scripts because honestly they got patched and oh, he didn't okay. really feel like having to do that again because he didn't want to cause drama yeah. again. Which I respect people like that. Yeah. Was... Well, when did you when did you originally start Roblox? Um, I had a ma other account, kind of like towards like for me. Um, kind of towards like middle school, like when I first started middle school and all that. Mm -hmm. But now I'm like towards the end of high school. But the thing is, after I got my password to my player. It was like a long years in him. It's like one, two, uh, twenty one. I don't even know to be honest with you. I just have it written down somewhere. Yeah. Because I'll get it mixed up. It's been a yeah, while. Yeah. Yep. I do know it was nice playing Sa Saber when it was popular. Like when a lot of big YouTubers were on it, because like I was like really competitive on like games then, because there was like hardly any scripts and all that, and I actually managed to get uh, first place on two leaderboards. Oh, nice. Yeah. I think I played it like a year ago with my kids once. I haven't played it since, but I know my kids said I got okay at it. I'm like, I don't even remember. I'll have to go and log in sometime. And the only problem is I'm always lo I'm always playing Giant Sim with my main account. So that was the yeah. account that I played Saber on. So I, <laughs> I've never really stopped Giant Sim on him. They're always... really hard to hatch now in that game. Like they're ridiculous, like the cost. Yeah. Like, they were honestly better off when they didn't add trading, because when they add trading, it basically killed the whole game, and it really annoyed me that when I would get beggars in my DMs, and <laughs> I would, like, warn them from my server, or people would spam me, and yeah. that I would really give them a warn, and when I ban, I would say ban, but I would say really inappropriate stuff to them <laughs> right after. Yeah. Because I get tired of it when people... For example, I was, like, sleeping or whatever. I literally woke up, like, someone was like, blowing up my DMs, like, all night, last yeah. night. Ugh, that's annoying. Yep, I just hope Giant doesn't add it, because I actually no. like Giant, because it's one of the few games that are really grindy, and yeah. it's easy to get, it's easy to progress, make progress, and also at the same time, there's no trading. Yep, I agree. I don't think they ever will, because all the mods are in agreement that that would be wrecking the game, and... Um, I see the company that took over for Tony and Fable. I think they're kind of in the same boat. They they pretty much listen to the mods on some of that stuff. So I think I think it's safe. I enough. will literally spam spam a lot of people not to add trading because I don't want Jackson to die. Yeah, I know, and it's already kind of like on its last legs in some ways. And yet lately, I've been kind of a little bored and stuff so i've been trying other games and stuff too but i've still been grinding i just um i've been playing more active this week to do this one video i did yesterday and um uh, comparing the spirit stuff to the uh, event stuff and uh actually had a lot of fun with it this week uh the spirits even though they're a little complex and annoying sometimes and they're hard to get the spirit threes sometimes on the drop i mean i literally yeah, i get really annoyed sometimes with getting the spirit <laughs> threes because i'll die and like literally next thing you know on uh, the downstairs like you'll just hear me yelling because i literally died <laughs> slamming the keyboard yeah i think i went through the uh, tomb 364 times this week and i got uh, three of them so i had horrible luck this week but it was still fun I, anyways i've only killed one tomb plus after that i just haven't really been grinding much like i've like on the my new to pro video with my main like that was my first time ever going to the tomb during that video that was like the first time i went into the egypt world <laughs> oh nice yeah. I like it. It looked cool and all that. Yeah, it is. I, the only thing is, like, the Mayan and the Egypt world are both very well designed. They look excellent. The only problem is there's just hardly oh, yeah, anything to do there, you know? Like, I'm not really going to complain about the update at all because it looks really good. It looks clean, especially the 
the new worlds that they're adding. It feels like they're adding like some. It feels like they're going back in the past. Yeah, they are. It's almost like they're forming a storyline or something. It'll be fun to see where it goes. And I feel like eventually, if they tie it together and then start populating each of those worlds with like things to do, mini games or different things, it actually could really make a comeback. I think so. I like where they're going with it. I don't even. I don't even know what the things that the that are guarding the boxes inside, like the the what is it. Nibiru, or something like that. Oh, event. Nibiru, yeah, those are, you... are those are aliens. <laughs> it's a futuristic type thing. Have you ever heard of like the planet uh, X or like Nibiru? There's like a whole oh, like yeah. cult of people that like think it's gonna hit Earth and all this different stuff. So they're going off of that whole like yeah. fabled story. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, maybe it might be something related to that. Yeah, I'm kind of excited to see where they're going to take it. So far, they've been doing stuff a little bit more frequently, and I feel like there's still a lot to work with with this base game. They just got to keep filling it with more fun stuff to actively do. But I think yeah, the I this, were helpful. Yeah, I don't know if this is true what Shy or like one of like the managers said. Like I, I was reading, they just said Giant Sim was just a game just so they can make money and make a future game. I don't know if that's true or not. I just thought I like heard something about it. I don't know if it's true. Huh. It couldn't. I don't think it will be true because honestly, Giant Sim's doing good, and they're it's a little, it's what they're known for. Yeah, yeah, and I feel like they can still revive this thing, I, even though it's dying in some ways and stuff. I still feel like there's enough of a base game here, and like you said, it's not a trading game, and it's very rare on Roblox. Very rare. So yeah, it always always going to have some appeal. Um, let's see here. When uh, when did you start YouTube, and what drove you to start? Honestly, this is going to be actually funny. I wish I started YouTube when I was like competitive on Saber Sim, but I actually started it when Throbbins actually got banned, and he actually tunes in on my channel every now and then. Nice. Still. But I mainly started it because I got bored during qu quarantine. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Everybody was stuck at home. <laughs> wasn't very fun. Yeah. I wish I really did, like, when... Like, they had the Easter event during, like, 2020 for Saber. Yeah. Like, that was, like, where, that's, like, where, like, 50,000 players plus were on, on it. Yeah, I probably could have. all these events. I probably could have blown up your channel at that point. I mean, yeah, I wish I did that. I mean, you already have pretty good subscribers, so you're doing really well. Yes. I mean, you know, I always try to do new stuff every day. Yeah, I like your videos. You're doing a good job, man. Yeah. So, uh, I think what's that? I think you are the only second person I've been in a voice call for, like, the Giant Sim community. Nice. Uh, was it? Levi is, like, the only one. <laughs> like, sometimes, like, we'll host, like, uh, was it, Arsenal stuff inside my server. Every now and then, like, we'll get, like, around, like, 15 people online. It's, like, there'll be, like, a ton of rage and yelling and all that. It's, like, really fun. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Hey, what's, um, what is your favorite game to play right now? Honestly, I would say Mining Sim 2, but I actually, it's tied between Mining Sim 2 and Giant, but I would have to say maybe Mining Sim. Yeah, for active, it can be a little bit more fun. Yeah. Although they did just re remove the caves because they were having so many problems in the game, and uh, I mm. love, I always love the caves, because <laughs> I like to get yeah, those I, like I loot boxes. I love doing the teleporter thing, like where you can teleport right outside the map and all that, fall right down on top of a cave and do like rebirth and all that. Oh, nice. I've never even, I didn't know about that. I can send you a screenshot if you want. You can put it up screen after the end of the video <laughs> if you want. Okay. I'm just like super free to play on that game. I haven't even played it once this week because I've just been um, busy with working out and doing other stuff um, in real life. But um, I'm just kind of playing the Mind Sim 2 casually just for fun. My kids like to play it once in a while, so I'll play it with them. It's nice to have a game that I really enjoy playing active and just kind of take it a at a chill pace. I haven't been trying to like super grind it. Yeah, I do know um, you can actually... AFK fish, and I'm pretty sure I made a video of, like with GS auto clicker and having a normal auto clicker of OP auto clicker. You can literally AFK fish at the 40 ticket egg, and you can literally pull tickets while you're hatching. <laughs> yeah, I saw but that. Free to play, yeah, but like free to play that's like infinite tickets. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I, I, I mean, I was uh, for two days in the beginning of that event, that beach event, I had the best um, stuff. It only took me like 
three or four days to get all the best gem stuff. I was going to make a noob to pro video on collecting gems, but I'm like, ah, enough people have already done that, so who cares? But um, I got like enough gems to max all my stuff out and get the best pickaxe and the best bag. And so then I was doing the beach area, and I got like, I can't remember, a couple million of those tickets within just a couple hours of active grinding. If you're going down to yeah. the bottom layers and then you go in the little caves down there, it was like super easy to collect a ton. I think my alt has like 15 million tickets, but I've been more trying to hatch, get to a shiny title god. Yeah. Because I want to make that, a, do stuff with that, but at the same time, I really want to do like a lot more stuff on my channel. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard mm -hmm. if you pigeonhole yourself in one little area. It's nice to have variety. Yeah, basically. I said, um, what, another question I had was, do you ever, do you have, st like, a Steam account? Do you ever play any Steam games? Uh, not really. I just mostly just play, like, honestly, just Roblox. And sometimes, I mean, you know, I still play the first game that I've ever played still. It was, like, on, you know, like, the Wii is, right? Yep, I have a Wii. I still try to give him my, oh, what is it? I actually, this YouTuber actually, to me, can compete with Mr. Beast. Because I like both of these YouTubers, and I it's hard for me to decide, but it's TW98, like a Mario Kart YouTuber. Oh, nice. Yeah, I've been playing that since I was like four. Oh, Mario Kart? Yeah. Oh, dude, I same here. I still, try, <laughs> I still try to get his lobbies on Twitch, but I still can't because they fill up so fast. Yeah, I played the original Mario Kart on Super Nintendo when I was, gosh, I don't know, nine or ten or something like that when it first came out. Yeah, honestly, they were fun. They were, man. Uh, my, I even got my, I just have one brother. And so my brother, my mom, dad, and I would sometimes play on the uh, Super Nintendo. We'd do little mini tournaments at home. I got my parents to play games once in a while. You yeah, I, I got my dad to actually play too. And like, he was like, he was like complaining about how, how he didn't know how to like turn and drift <laughs> and all that type of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That was one of those things. I was like, hardcore mario carter back in the very early days it was only two player unfortunately on super nintendo that was like literally yeah. 20 some years ago but that was yeah. fun good times man yeah i've been enjoying every i've been enjoying playing like new different games yeah. like not even on roblox but in general yep yeah my kids are always keeping me active dude they're so adhd like when it comes to playing games they'll play them for five minutes and switch I just can't do that that fast. I'm like, man, I like to actually enjoy a game for a while, like maybe at least a half hour, but they're funny. Yeah. They're always getting me into new games. Yeah, um, I've been playing a lot. A lot of variety stuff, especially like when I go AFK for a while on all my accounts. Yeah. Or I have something to do because like next thing you know, like some of my recording doesn't look like it'll be that long, but Need the Pro video took like two and a half days to, of recording. Yeah. And then you just edit the heck out of it. <laughs> yeah, basically. I just cut down like the time lapse of me standing still because no one really wants to see that. <laughs> that's my issue. I always talk too long, and so I'll have these long videos. I have to cut a ton of stuff out, and that's what always takes the longest for me is cutting stuff down. Yeah, I actually have a lot of cut scenes whenever I do need to pro, but they're worse than they're worse the editing time, and a lot of people enjoy it. Yeah. Like I've been seeing a lot of people like saying we don't care if you do a new to pro like free to play on a game and don't get far. They just like to see the editing and stuff. Like yeah, because it looks yeah. I would always do saber, but because they haven't had an oh what is it? The last time I think I did one on saber was exposing a YouTuber that used devil scripts. Hmm. Which Del and I are really good friends, and even in his scripts, there I do have my own rank or whatever. But it's not even, yeah, that and all that. Yeah. I don't really care about the server. I don't really, I'm not really active in his his one server with it. Obviously, it's it's weird that I'm in it. I'm just in it just because like Devil's my friend and all that. I don't really care about the scripts and that. Yeah. Like, I know you have to have, uh, what is it, link permission and VIP for them to confirm that you have a script and that, all that type of jazz. Huh. Yeah, I just don't know much about it. Yeah. Um, do you, um, what's your, what's your favorite thing to do outside of gaming? Uh, maybe go outside and maybe hang out with my friends or, I don't know, just go outside and take a walk with my dog that I have. Ooh, nice. You got some dogs. You said you have some cats, too? 
I had three cats. <laughs> uh, one of them, I bought one myself. His name is Astro. Nice. And he's he's like not even two, and he's like already like he's like ski. The thing is like he's not fat. It's just on how long he is. <laughs> like he's like a long cat. Yeah. He's supposed to get like a big, but not. He's supposed to be a tall cat. Like he's already. He's already taller and bigger than our cat that's like six years old and all that. <laughs> nice. Got good yeah. genes. <laughs> um, do you have any special or hidden talents? Uh, not really, besides me. I used to be able to draw, but I just lost that ability. Like, <laughs> I used to be able to draw something decent, but decent, but I haven't been drawing in a while, and now I just lost the talent, but I can still do okay. Nice. I've always sucked at drawing. I always wanted to be good. I never had the talent. <laughs> Yeah. It's really... I got really upset. I don't know if someone's going to ask this question, but... Oh, uh, what is it? I do know... Oh, uh, what is it? One of my friends, uh, she used to play Roblox. But... in Giant Sim with me. But the thing... And she actually was a bit better than me. But she had less Reavers. She had, like, 200k Reavers with, like, around, like... Uh... Tw I want to say, like, 23 million skills. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was like ridiculous on how OP she was. Nice. But then she did she just quit Roblox and all just because she got bored. Yeah. And like nothing new was happening and they were having trash updates and for example, all this like the crosswood stuff, like that that's yeah. like another example. That this mm -hmm. billionaire company keeps getting hacked and she didn't really feel safe. Yeah, that's true. Anyway. You think they have a little better security measures with all the money they make? Yeah, I don't personally I'm starting to think that Roblox doesn't care about yeah. their community anymore. I just think that they just want money. Yeah, kind of looks, it kind of looks that way. <laughs> yeah, basically. Um. So, what is the the reason that you don't use your voice in videos? Honestly, it's just because I just don't have a mic. Plus, I just don't really feel like talking much, and I just feel like that I if I just do like time lapse and put music in the background, I feel like it's more enjoyable. Yeah. Enjoyable and all that type of stuff. Right on. Yeah, it's whatever you like. And right now, just so people know, you're on your phone, so <laughs> not on a mic. Yeah. Right on, man. Yeah, basically, and all that. Oh, um, I was going to ask something. Oh, yeah. What's the qu question Crypto ask? I want to see if he asked one or not. Because usually what he'll say in DMs will probably not be fr kid friendly. <laughs> yeah, I know. You know, um, props to all your friends. They yeah. totally respected the request for family friendly and not one of them asked anything inappropriate. So congratulations to all of Mad's friends. <laughs> yeah, that was actually more impressive because yeah. I don't know if some people are in the server. It can get really suspicious in there and I'm not really against uh, cussing like other YouTuber servers. Yeah. And usually all the admins, mods in there aren't really uh, softies like some other ones in different servers. Yeah. Well, to each his own. I'm, no judgment yeah. there. It's all good. I'm just glad they respected the questions. I would have had to throw yeah, them out. Did. Nope. Um, I will jump into... Uh, so Crypto asked... The one question he asked was, Why are you so good? <laughs> oh, Greg. It just takes grinding and AFK and all that type of stuff. Like, am I, how am I good in every game? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's just honestly, I just get grind and I just get used to it really fast and I can just take the ability and just use that and like you know i could just put an account on the leaderboard if i tried yeah but when i put an account on the leaderboard it's like i'll get competitive then and i won't just really enjoy the game so i'm just trying to take it easy in some games like i just started for example mining sim mm -hmm. i, I want to put one on there but at the same time i don't because then i'll know i'll get really competitive with the leaderboard <laughs> then <laughs> me too that's i'm the same way every time a kid starts a new game i'm like hmm i'll figure out a way to get on the leaderboard super fast and it's like but do i want to because once i do i'm like imprisoning myself so yeah for, basically that, that's so, basically me so forget about it because sometimes it's just not worth it it's more fun to just mess around that's what i'm doing on mining sim too i looked at it, i'm like dude i could totally pay to win and like get on there fairly quickly if i really tried hard and i'm like yeah. nah i think i'm just gonna forego it on that one even though i like it i want to keep liking it over time and i'm just gonna play it casually but it is a great game um nullified asked you um how do you grow on youtube and what are better ways to grind 
honestly, it just takes time on YouTube. You just have to push through. Like, for example, if I, I grew my YouTube channel originally on Saber, so I'm going to get more views on Saber. But because I'm starting a new game, people aren't really going to be watching that. So I'm going to have to make like a thumbnail that's like okay. I'm going to have to make a title, and I'm going to have to basically draw viewers towards me. But I'm also going to have to remember, it's a new game, so it's not, I'm not going to get as much views as I normally do. Because the, people aren't really used to me making this type of content. For example, I just started Minus Sim 2, and people aren't really used to me doing that. Yep. Excellent advice, they, and I completely agree. They're used to me being like a Sabres grinder. I don't know if you showed off the community tab of this or not, but I've been grinding for like almost like a hundred, almost half a year or somewhere around that, like a, maybe a fourth of a year to a half, somewhere around there. I want to say like a close to 120 days grinding for 1 million fire, but I ended up getting like 650k, mm -hmm. mostly because Saber's been dead, the content's been, there hasn't been really much views in it, and yeah. I've just been basically doing that. Yep. Well, and as a YouTuber, you know, I, I've, I'm a recent new to YouTuber since uh, January, and I've noticed that, you know, if you want to continue to get views, you have to kind of, there's there's a balance there of like trying some of the games that are more popular versus, you know, the ones that you have an established crew on. Mine is Giant Simulator is my main one, but I tried Tapping Legends X recently, and sometimes the videos hit, sometimes they miss. Um, one of yeah. my videos on, on TLX got like, 3,500 views, and then the other ones only get like five, 400, 300, something like that. So sometimes you do well with the thumbnail and you get fortunate, but I think you had great yeah. advice. That's really, really good advice. Yeah, it usually just takes time to, like I've been seeing, uh, what is it? It just mostly just takes time, practice, and mostly just patience because you don't really want to rush out a video. For mining sim, I've seen some YouTubers just blow up just from doing giveaways. Yeah. But honestly, that's expected mm -hmm. to do. But I've seen one YouTuber that kind of clickbaits, but one of his videos blew up that wasn't. So, like, everyone, like, still watches his content. For example, Johnny Melican. I'm not a, just a normal Melican, but the thing is, on the side of his screen, it was either a modded version of Mining Sim 2, or he had scripts pulled up, and he wasn't even trying to hide it. Yeah. Yeah, that's surprising. <laughs> it's surprising to me it got, like, 20k views within a day. Yeah, sometimes the algorithm algorithm is a little bit confusing to me, but I, I'm starting to understand a little bit better as I do more. Yeah. But yeah, well, um, just another refrigerator asked. The only one that I would say is slightly sus. So, do you have a sister? And he said, uh, "Is she hot?" I don't have a sister. Why does he want to know that? I want to. I want to. I want to spam him later now. Yep. I'm so. I'm so glad you don't have a sister in that case because. That was the only suspicious question out of all of your friends. So I <laughs> just wanted to throw that out there. And then he had, he did ask, uh, do you play uh, MM2? I only can assume that's Murder Mystery 2. Yeah, I honestly, sometimes I do with my friends, but that's the only time where it's fun. Okay, yeah. I have never tried it. I just saw it the other day. I looked it up because he asked that question. I'm like, what is this game? And then I saw what it was. So that would be a fun game to play with people. Um and then he had another question about, um, oh, Call of Duty uh, Mobile. Do you play that? No, okay. I don't. And then he said, do you play Valorant? Uh, I think I've had once, but it's mostly I only do it with uh, IRL friends, but we don't really do it as much. Okay. He said, if you do play Valorant, quit that and play CODM with him. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He's, he, he seems, he's, he's asking for some other stuff. <laughs> Yeah, you might have to be he's careful with him. He's asking for some drama after this video. <laughs> you have to, you're gonna have to give call. him some flack. Like <laughs> oh no, oh no. He's asking for like me going charging at them. And usually you don't really want that because next thing you know, you'll just wake up or you'll just see a lot of interesting things in your DMs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, with, with some of the friends on your server, man, I can imagine your DMs must just be getting blown up with some interesting stuff. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah. Oh, dead weirdest. What's that? The weirdest thing that my girlfriend was, she went on my Discord account. Oh, no. 
in a server was uh into actually messaged crypto. Oh no. <laughs> and well from what I understand he called her basically. Um I don't really want to call it but I don't want you to get demonetized but called her basically hot and all that type of stuff and I'm like, okay, I don't really care. That's that seems more of a you and her issue. I'm gonna let you two find it out. I'm just gonna honestly watch. <laughs> Are you uh, friends with Crypto in real life or, or just through... Uh, no. Games? Okay. I've known him since like around like 50 subscribers. Null's been on my channel since like five. Oh, wow. And I believe I believe he's also one of my YouTube mods. Like if I ever do like a live stream or like premiere stuff, he can have like access to like mute, block, hide users and do that stuff too. Oh, oh nice. Okay. It's nice, to, it's nice to have like two basically. It's like he's in charge of a lot of stuff. So like he's always grinding with me too. Yeah. Basically. Right on, man. Well, uh, Deadly asked, um, how long, uh, oh, how long have you done YouTube and do you plan to quit Roblox? Uh, I don't know. It honestly matters on what I want to do with my future and if it allows me time to do it because I still want to try doing YouTube for like a, a while. But at the same time, I want to see if I can try creating like a Nintendo like type of channel too like where i play like nintendo games and all that type of stuff yeah but honestly i don't know how to record on nintendo and all that yeah yeah it's a hard balance because you want to play the stuff you like to play you don't want to just do it because yeah. it's a prison I, I started doing that for a little while it's like dude i got when i first started the first month january um i did january and february i started doing videos and then i took like march and april off i was too busy and then i just was kind of getting bored and it killed the youtube for a bit and then i started up again in may and it started taking off but it's it's not worth it if you're in a prison and you're playing games yeah. that you hate it sucks yeah basically youtube like the one thing is like your channel do really good like for example my channel when i did new to pro in the like what is it the candy land area mm -hmm. that video took off and i uploaded like the next two videos those and a few videos before those videos been taken off and like a after those videos they just been dying after, like slowly. Yep. Dying. It's like it's like your channel do good for like a while, but then it'll like die off. Yeah, and I don't know if that's the interest of what people have on Roblox at the time, and they start losing or they start losing interest in certain games or what. But it happens to me too. It just kind of goes in these weird cycles. Yeah. Um, Deadly I've been also. Pepsi I've been seeing Pepsi Max stuff, and apparently they might add like a free. Uh, what is it like one of those like huge pets for limited like they're easy to hatch apparently huh. especially with this block event and all that type i think meek Step did a video of it i didn't even notice until then but i not really a fan of um pets and max really yeah i've never tried that one i'm doing the tapping legends x um afk but that's the only one i'm doing right now besides giant sim it just gets too yeah. much Honestly, if I just want to see ta uh, Pets and Max, I just honestly watch Mayor Shark, and I just watch uh, Meek Death mainly. Yeah. Sometimes Dobbins when he uploads it. Yeah. Um, yeah, Dobbins, I think dobbins has been taking a break from Discord, just because he's been getting so busy with his real life, and because he has a real job. Yeah. He didn't know that. It's like he travels, like, a lot, very often, so he has to, like, move everything around, and plus he doesn't really have time to, like, really do much so that's like where he's been at most of the time yeah i find it tough to find a good balance i'm trying to just do like one or two videos a week or something like that and i try to do them as quickly yeah. as i can with still having quality but it's tough because i got four kids i got a job i get i mean i have a lot of yeah. stuff going on in life so it's tough yeah he says it he says if he had like a wife and kids he said he there was no way he can do like daily uploads like he does oh yeah that's almost impossible with his real job yeah, because can... honestly, he says he literally works. He says this to me. He says he works, right? Yeah. So while he's working, he's recording. <laughs> then he comes back. He ends the thing. And then he starts to edit it, basically. Yeah. That's yeah, you have to be super. He explains it to me. You got to be super efficient all the time when you do okay. it. Yeah, basically, he's like working like almost twenty four hours a day, basically. <laughs> That's which is crazy. crazy yeah that's crazy it's unsustainable so i understand if he needs to take a little break it's tough yeah i do know that i do work but i'm also a a minor too plus i'm ending off high school yeah they're gonna go into like uh trade schools and all that right on 
Yep. Well, Bob asked, are you really toothless? I don't know. Honestly, I just did it just because, oh, what is my girlfriend? She really likes the show and toothless is her favorite character. So I just did that just honestly, just to, just to, you know. Points with the girlfriend. Just to, that, <laughs> just to show that I care for her, but in reality, yeah, I do. Good for you, buddy. That's good. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with trying nope. to help out the girlfriend. No. Nope. That's how you be a good boyfriend. <laughs> Do you like uh, How to Train Your Dragon series? Uh, I don't mind it, but I also, she likes, um, usually I just watch it with her, but I, every now and then I like watch like one, just one clip video on it every now and then, but it's not really often. Yeah, out of the ones, with her. out of the movies my kids watch, I... I think that How to Train Your Dragon series is one of the best ones. It's pretty darn good. Yeah, it's like, I think on How to, like, Train Your... They ended off on, like, the, what is it, the Hidden Underworld one? They hit, they kind of, like, ended that off, like, on a cliffhanger. Yeah. I think they're planning It feels like more. they ended off, like, showing, like, Toothless and whatever, the White Fury and all that type of stuff, from what I remember, like, having kids. And mm -hmm. it's basically they ended off, like, right there. Yeah, I think they want to leave it open in case they want to do more. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they might, because usually they take, like, a few years to work on one. Yeah. But I did I did learn something, though. Apparently, Toos is the... What is it? They take, like, animations from, like, a cat. Like, a black cat. Like, a full black cat. Like, those type of ones. And, like, they animate it, and they put it into, like, the editing thing and all that. Oh, nice. That's what I learned. Well, that's why yeah, I didn't even know that. I've always thought it was like you know mirroring mirroring a cat and all the reflexes and movements and everything. But that's cool. I didn't know yeah. they actually did the screen like that. Yeah, I'm huh. not for sure, but I'm pretty sure they just did like the movement of it. I've yeah. seen a video of it. They also put a tail on the cat and like they do some weird. <laughs> they they don't, they don't really do much to harm it. It's just a funny reaction with the cat. <laughs> I don't know. I've been learning a lot of stuff. Like it looks cool on how they edit movies in that. Oh yeah, it's amazing how far technology's come. Oh yeah. What do, What is your favorite movie, by the way? I had that as a question, actually. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. I'm just more open. But honestly, I'm gonna have to say like the the Jurassic series and all those. Oh, nice. Okay. I've seen the. Yeah, I've seen a few of them. I haven't seen the most recent one. Is it good? The Jurassic World. Yeah. Uh, I've seen them once. It's actually pretty good. I don't want to spoil it, but it's really good. You should. It's definitely cool. worth watching. Sweet. I, okay. I highly recommend it. Right on. Yeah. The last one I saw was Top Gun. I don't go to the theater very often with four kids, and I didn't take them to that. I went with my wife, but I liked that movie pretty good, too. Oh, yeah. I think my dad uh, took uh, me and my brother to that one. It was actually all right. Yeah. With the airplanes and all that. Yep. That's the one. And then the final—it wasn't bad. The final question I actually had for you formally was, uh, "Where did you get your name?" Mad People Twenty Two. Yeah, it's kind of like a personal question, but in reality, it was going to be something to related to my name. But because Roblox didn't allow you to put your real name down, I just put it as Mad. But I kind of can confirm my first letter does start with an M. Nice. Well, so does mine. <laughs> yep, I mine starts with an M as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I, Robert Bruce has nothing to do with my actual name. But uh, <laughs> I I just like the the historical character of the King of Scotland, Robert the Bruce. That's yeah. Really mine. But right on, man. Well, that was all the questions that I got from your friends and from me. Uh, is there anything else that you want to share with the world today? Um, maybe if you guys could click that subscribe button to Robert and like the video. And maybe it will motivate me to make new to pro videos faster and maybe do <laughs> more stuff in Giant Sim, especially for Robert too, and maybe share my opinions on Soul Gem stuff. Oh, yeah. On how to like, get Soul Gems fast. Definitely, man. I, I, always like your, I always like your videos, but especially your Giant Sim videos. It's been fun to watch. Been fun getting to know you, yeah, man. I'm trying to make them entertaining. Yeah, yeah, you're good at that, and you're really good with thumbnails too. So keep up the good work, man. 
And will. Please subscribe to Mad 22s channel. I'll be linking that in the description. And I'll put it on the end channel as well. So, well, thanks a lot for hanging out with me, man. I, I always enjoy yep. these interviews. It's fun getting to know you guys. Yeah, it is. And I hope all your friends are able to take a look and see, and uh, you guys can banter back and forth behind the scenes. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'll be spamping in on this video. <laughs> I look forward to seeing it. I'm glad I'm in your server on Discord, too, so I can watch the fallout. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a lot of drama that happens in there. <laughs> That's funny. Right on. Well, I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Uh, it hasn't quite kicked off officially yet. It's Friday morning, but I uh, hope you have an enjoyable weekend. I'm going to be out of town, man. I'm going up to the mountain with my wife. 16-year anniversary this weekend, so no kids. I'm going to be unplugging from electronics. Oh, that sounds fun. So, yeah, it's going to be awesome. I haven't done that in literally a couple of years, so I'm pretty pumped. Going to go yeah, hike. Sounds like a lot of fun. Going to do some hiking. Fun. Get some touching some grass, touching some mountains. <laughs> I actually, I actually go outside and maybe like once in a while I'll go hiking on my own. Nice. On every now and then, like I know there's like a maybe like thirty minutes away from me. There's like a decent trail. Like there's like a long trail I usually go on. That's cool. And all that stuff. I usually walk there sometimes, especially when I'm recording. Oh, nice. Yeah, just to stay in shape and yeah. all that. Yeah, it's worth it, man. It's it's definitely worth staying active and having fun. So that uh, when you're doing your YouTube stuff, you're not uh, dying from wheezing from eating too many Cheetos. <laughs> yeah. Well, right on, man. Thanks, Matt. I'll be talking to you soon, man. All right. Let me know if you need anything more. All right, man. Will do. Thanks so much. Yep. See you. See you later, man.